Hey everyone, this is Mike Ben 96 here with Wohotech.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up iTunes home sharing on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So home sharing isn't something necessarily new to the iTunes community. We've seen home sharing compatible with PC and Mac. But now iOS 4.3 gives the ability to use home sharing on our iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. At the Apple event, Steve Jobs went over some key features in iOS 4.3, and one of them is iTunes Home Sharing. Now, iOS 4.3 is not available yet as I'm keeping this video on March 3rd. However, on March 11th, iOS 4.3 will be released to the public. So then you will be able to take full advantage of iTunes Home Sharing on any device you want, whether it's PC, Mac, iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to demonstrate how to use home sharing. So first you are going to open your settings menu. You scroll down to music. And then something new here is home sharing. So it'll ask you for your Apple ID and password. So I'm going to type those credentials in. So after you type that stuff in, you're basically done. You can exit out of the settings menu. Okay, so after you log into your iTunes account in the settings menu, you're going to head over to your computer and just double check that you have a setting turned on. You may or may not have this setting set correctly, so we're just going to go over and check it out. So it's in the edit menu at the top. Scroll down to preferences. And the tab we want here is sharing. So it's the third tab from the left. So the box that we want marked is this one here, the first one, share my library on my local network. So then you have the option of choosing certain playlists or the entire library to be shared. So I'm just going to set the entire library. You can also make a password for security purposes. So I'm just going to leave the password off. Another cool feature is that you can have sharing update the play counts. So I'm going to turn that on. That is an optional feature though. So the only required thing is uh, that first checkbox there. So we'll just hit OK to get out of that. And then it gives you a little warning uh, saying that sharing is for personal use only. Just click OK to clear that. Okay guys, so we're back here on my iPod. We just enabled sharing on the computer, so now we're going to take advantage of it. So you're going to open up Music, aka the iPod app. You're going to click on More, and then the new option you will see is Shared. Just tap on that. So the first option is going to be My iPod Touch, My iPhone, or My iPad. Uh, whatever device you have, that's what it will be. So that option will show you all of the data that is on your device via iTunes. So when you sync your device, everything that it puts on your device will show up. Now, to take advantage of sharing, you're going to select the, the library that you want to view. So I only have one computer sharing my library right now, but if you had more than one computer sharing your library, you would have more than one library showing up here. But you just select your library. And then you get a very familiar screen here. So it looks like the regular iPad app, but if you if you look up here, it says Mike's library. So everything that's showing up here is stuff from my computer. So let's just play Barbie Girl. So it's currently streaming this song over Wi-Fi. All right. And another way I can show you this uh, to show you that it's really working, we'll go to shared and we'll turn off sharing by selecting my iPod Touch. So we'll go back and confirm that. All right. So you can see my iPod Touch is selected, which basically means that sharing is turned off. So I could go over to podcasts 
And so you can see one of my podcasts is Tech Stuff. Uh, that's a podcast I love to listen to, obviously, because I'm a technology geek. So if you take notice here, it says there are 19 episodes. Now, I haven't sunk my iPod with my computer for a while, other than putting the uh, firmware on it, iOS 4.3. So I'm looking at my computer right now. You scroll up to that in iTunes. And Tech Stuff, it says 29 episodes. So we obviously have uh, 10 episodes that are on my computer, but are not on my device. So to show you that home sharing is actually working, we'll go to More, Shared, Mike's Library, Podcasts, and now under Tech Stuff, there are 29 episodes, which matches uh, the number on my computer because it is pulling those episodes from my computer and streaming them. So guys, that is home sharing. It's fairly simple to set up. So if you have any questions, email me at mikeben96 at wohotech.com. To stay updated on all the technology news, go to wohotech.com. Also, follow Wohotech on Twitter, uh, which is probably the easiest way to stay updated on the latest news. So I'll see you guys in the next video.